I'm Weston, I love talking about the Astros, and we were almost two batters away from me, along with most of the fan base having a mental breakdown today, and I'm here to recap Game 52 of the regular season, Astros win it 7-4 to four over the Padres, and this was a win that even though you hear, ah, oh, 7-4, to four, pretty good win, no, no it wasn't, it's still, uh, whoo, wait on your psyche a little bit there towards the end, and I'll get to that in a bit, so Zach Greinke on the mound, versus former Cy Young Award winner, Blake Snell. Now, the Astros did good. They got to Blake Snell early, and they did it pretty effectively. They put up seven runs on Snell in the first three innings of work for him, which really shot his ERA up. Uh, shot it up over a run per game on average is how bad we hurt his ERA, which, uh, good job, Astros. So, immediately getting into it. First inning, the Astros would start striking pretty darn quickly. Uh, Altuve singles to get aboard. McCormick singles to move Altuve to third. A wild pitcher then makes it second, third, no outs. Bregman grounds out for the first one, but you score a run, so it's a productive one. Uh, Correa then would draw a walk, and Kyle Tucker just barely gets it out into left field in the Crawford boxes to make it a 4 nothing ball game. Only one stadium that is a home run in, but it only matters that that is our stadium that it's a home run in, and it's 4 nothing. Uh, then, in the third, the Astros would strike some more. They'd get some stuff. Uh, McCormick would strike out, which isn't great. Uh, Bregman would then walk. Correa would walk. Uh, Tucker would fly out, and then two out lightning. Diaz would double the score to, and Taylor Jones, somewhat making up for yesterday's uh, <clears throat> incident, would single to make it a 7 nothing ball game. The Astros got to... Uh, they got to Blake Snell quickly, and that is very good. And it's a good thing we got the offense out of the way when we did, because uh, then an old friend of ours, Mr. Joe Musgrove, would enter the game for the Padres. And uh, to say he was masterful is an understatement. Five innings, no hits, no walks, three strikeouts. There's, man, um, just an unreal game by uh, Joe Musgrove. He's always had the peripherals of a good pitcher. He's always been good in most of the stat cast percentiles. He's always had a good Sierra, a good expected ERA, a pretty decent FIP. But he's never really been able to break out in his career. This year he has. He's been fantastic. Uh, that lowers his ERA to a 2.08 on the season, which not a person I'm happier for to see that out of than Joe Musgrove. Awesome, awesome guy. I'm happy that he's having success. I wish it was with Houston, but his hometown team out in uh, San Diego is pretty cool, too. And he was, you know, locked down. Now, in the fifth, we would give up a home run. It's only one. It was to a guy named uh, Webster Rivas, which, I, you know, it's, it was a home run. Uh, that part isn't fun, but... First of, it's his first major league hit, his first major league home run, obviously. And for a guy who toiled in the minors for a while, 30-year-old rookie making his debut, or not his debut, but making a start, that kind of makes you happy. You can't be too mad about that. And it was smooth sailing there for a while. Grinky, fantastic today. Eight innings, uh, not a lot of base runners, four strikeouts, only one walk, which he was really, really good. Then uh, <laughs> the ninth inning where it starts to uh, weigh on your psyche a little bit if you're the Astros. Because at that point, I'm like, man, if something bad happens, I am not going to be good. I might, I, I don't know what's going to happen. And then the first batter in the ninth, um, Will Myers, homers to make it a five-run ball game. Which, you might say, Weston, it's a five-run ball game. Like, what are you, why are you getting upset about that? And I would say, uh, well, then not that long after that, Hai Sung Kim would homer to make it a three-run ball game. And then another single happens. And all of a sudden, uh, yeah, there's two outs, but the tying run is on deck. Which, <laughs> given that yesterday you thought that it was pretty much a closed-out game and then, uh, you know, the 12th happened, this was not great for the Astros. You start to get a little nervous. At least I started to get horrified. I'm like, oh, it's happening again. That's what, it, it, it's happening again? I, I see the, I, I could see it happening. I'm like, oh, I'm I'm gonna have a meltdown on the video today, aren't I? It's gonna be a fun one. But Scrub got the last out, not great or anything. He was pretty bad today, if we're being completely honest. But we won the game, seven four. Oh man, even a good game like this, where it should just be nothing but celebration, still makes you a bit nervous. Uh, so, pitching lines are pretty simple. Granke, eight innings of work, six hits, one run, 
a walk, and four strikeouts. Gem by Zach Greinke. One of the best games he's pitched as an Astro. Andre Scrub, one inning of work. Three hits, three runs, a walk, and a pair of strikeouts. So not fantastic or anything. And on that last strikeout, he got a total gimme pitch. Uh, that, that was definitely a ball. I think it was the third pitch of the at-bat. That was 100% a ball that they called the strike. So that was a gimme, which I'm going to take. I'm not going to complain about that. Uh, offensively, obviously, Kyle Tucker, big day. Diaz with a couple of RBIs. And realistically, like the Astros had a good first three innings. And then Joe Musgrove said, okay, guys, uh, hi, I'm back. It's time to not do anything today. But they did that. They did enough. They did enough in the first three innings off of Blake Snell to get the win. Which, thank God, because this is uh, this is getting it was it was, it was, it was getting a little nerve wracking there. So that's all for this game. The Astros not convincingly, not well or anything, but they get out of the uh, the series against them with a win, which is kind of a miracle, especially the way it was shaping up. Now. Tomorrow we start another series, a four-game set. I want to make sure it's a four-game set before I say something that could be incorrect. Yes, a four-game set against the Boston Red Sox. Game one will be, I'm going to make sure, uh, Eduardo Rodriguez for the Red Sox, rolling in with a 5.06 ERA. That's a little bit high. Uh, And we will have Jose Urquidy coming back uh, with a 3.22 ERA for tomorrow on Memorial Day. That starts at 4.10 Eastern. 310 Central. The video might be a little bit later. Uh, It depends on what... It might be a little bit later. I'm hoping it won't be. I'm hoping I can do it normal timing. But that one might be a little tiny bit delayed, but hopefully it won't be. Anyway, I will be here after that. Thank you all so very much for watching. I hope you all have an absolutely fantastic day, and Ghost Rose.